everyone! Today we will be setting up lighting in a windowless room. This will be a bright, trendy bathroom in the scene we did earlier. Working with bathrooms is the easiest process for me, so when creating a complete apartment or house project, I leave them for the end. In this case, we already have preset render settings so that we can adjust the lighting to them. Let's take another look at the settings from the previous kitchen living room. Everything remains as it is. We won't even touch the exposure now. As you can see, we now have a completely dark room without any light sources. In this case, we start setting up the lighting in the room with furniture and objects. Most of the materials are already done from the previous room, and they will be replaced on the floor, ceiling, and wood on the cabinet. The lighting in rooms without windows always depends on the scenario in the task. Somewhere there may be tracks and spotlights, and nowadays, in general, light ceilings are trendy. The whole picture will depend on this. We have spot plaster lamps and six small sources, so logically there will not be a very bright lighting. There will be a shadow under the ceiling because the spotlights have a downward effect on light. In each spotlight we will place an IES disk with a narrow spectrum of action. In the disk we need to leave the effect in the reflection and glass surfaces to create glare on glossy surfaces. Before adding the IES you can try to set the spot direction yourself. The larger the value, the narrower the source effect, and we place them on the plan in the places of the sources. We have the disks ready. Let's see the IES profile. The intensity of the internal disks may be low. Below is the IES file from the ready-made packages, which I have been using in almost all scenes for a long time. I'll attach this file along with the links to free packages. Let's enable these sources. The intensity is low because these disks are inside the source. This is necessary to highlight these points and add highlights. The main lighting will come from other disks already under these sources. I copied the disks below and added another IES. Place them a little further away, but near the sources, so as not to get confused. I think they illuminate the walls better. They are located much lower to create a shadow under the ceiling. The IES profile is different. If the first one has a wider range of action, the second one has a very narrow directional effect. We turn on the disk. And this is the lighting we get. It's already more attractive and bright. In the disks under the sources we turn off all the values. I adjust the temperature of the disks depending on the materials, making sure that the lighting is not too cold or too warm. We adjust the white balance and intensity depending on the result. Creating very voluminous lighting in bathrooms is difficult, but there are a few tips. I eliminate local accent areas for artistic purposes. We've made a note that we have disks inside the source and under it. Next, I copy one lower disk above the accent area, which can be a wash basin, bus stop, or toilet if necessary. I lower the accent disks even closer to the desired area. If we look at the result without the disk, we can see that the lighting becomes flat and the horizontal surfaces are not eliminated, making the image unattractive. But if we return it, we immediately get an accent. I didn't do it above the toilet because it is already under the source, but I did it over the bath. After setting up the main lighting and accents, I turn on the LED lights in the right places. They are warm and broad spectrum with low intensity. This way we have set up the lighting in the bathroom very simply and quickly. I do the same in other rooms, like the laundry or wardrobe. I don't change the basic settings and exposure, but only work with the intensity of the sources. If I put 250 in one of the sources, I see how bright the room becomes. We find the perfect middle ground empirically. I usually choose IES that have an elongated pattern. Let's also look at other angles. This is what image 2 looks like. We see nice halos from the sources. The bathtub area is highlighted. If we have tracks, we also place the disks under the sources. 
If the track lights have a certain angle and are directed at the wall, then we turn on the target in the discs and direct them according to the direction of the light. And I want to draw your attention to close up with a sink. If you remove the accent source, this area becomes flat. That's why it's important to highlight horizontal surfaces. I'll add this IES to the video and I'll also provide links to the packs. Experiment with them and find the most convenient ones for yourself. Thank you all for your attention. Goodbye.